Hello and welcome to this fitting a 67mm white balance lens and then setting the WB, the white balance on the Lumix FZ2000. Easy peasy. Hello. Present from Amazon. It is a WB series 67mm white balance filter. But it's actually a lens cap, white balance lens cap. Now, I'll read out to you what it says. JJC, get accurate, accurate colour and difficult lighting with the JJC WB series white balance cap. The fast and easy digital white balance cap. Spend more time shooting and less time on workflow. The JJC White Balance Series White Balance Cap, I reckon it's called the White Balance Cap, is great for use with dig digital cameras. Just place the White Balance Cap, point your camera at a subject area and the incoming light is diffused to create an average white balance for any particular scene. The White Balance Cap easily slips on the front of any appropriately sized lens or lens with a protective filter. It averages colour temperatures of all lights in a given scene, provides accurate white balance measurement, works with any digital camera that has manual white balance feature, spends more time shooting and less time on workflow. 100% neutral diffusion. Well, there's the Lumix FZ2000, FZ2500, FZH1, depending where you live. Lens gap off, lens hood off, white balance on. Right. Switch camera on. Bingo. That's where the light's generally shining. I'm in movie mode. I'll switch out, but it'll still be the same thing. And then on the back, there, you got left, right, up, down. The arrow, as I call it, the arrow is anyway, the star. And this side, it's this white balance. I'm going to press it. And you can see it's come up with all them readings along the bottom. Now I shall scroll through them and read them out. Using the scroll button at this side, up here. And it starts with AWB, that means automatic white balance. Then the sunshine design, then a cloud design, then a house design, because you're in the shade of one side of it, electric light design, white balance to flash, and then you've got one, two, three, four custom settings before you get to the K settings. So I shall go on number one, and then it says there, It says there, select, <laughs> it says there, select white balance, and down below it says adjust. So I'm going to point it at the light source, or down here, and I shall select the white set. It comes up with a little triangle, a little rectangle. So I shall accept that, and touch set. And you'll have heard the camera maybe click and it comes up and says completed. That's it. The white balance is now set for taking photos under that light here. Couldn't be any easier. Now I shall come out of that. That's for movie, remember. It isn't any different if I switch it to manual shutter priority, aperture priority, or program. Let's go program. Point it down there again. I go to white balance, WB, that right hand side of the star feature. And then select white set. And it comes up with a little rectangle again. And I go set. Plunk, that's it. Do remember. When you're ready to shoot, take the t take the white balance cap off because you will think you've gone blind otherwise because you won't see a darn thing. 
And that is it, the white balance set. Now that's better than the old way, or the, the most common way, is a white card. Put it there, and you aim your camera at it. In fact, I'll put it here. Aim my camera at it, go white balance. Select white balance set, little rectangle, select set. It gives exactly the same reading, that or that. The difference is you look silly with that stuck there all day. And if you've got that on there all day, who's going to know? You've got to take it off anyway, it's a good lens cap. And that's your lot. Thanks for watching. Goes the weasel. Yeah, thanks for watching. It's appreciated. I'm glad somebody watches it apart from me. Don't forget to give me a like, a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you subscribe, you'll know what's coming next.